Bolt. Mason Mason is now massive favourite. But the question is how will he play it, Stuart? We have been philosophising on which mace will come out. The flash Fandango One or the funeral march to the finish. Will it be Mace the Ace with pace? Or will it be Mace the Ace with his foot off the pedal but in control? We'll find Six out. Eight. Remember Ireland, World Grand Prix. Quarter final, Steve Beaton breezing it on the verge of victory. Missed 12 darts to win it. Six I think, I think the control over the individual dart is the key here. Mason is not surging at the board. This is very, very almost funereal by him. Still the old facial theatricals showing every inch of nerve on every corpuscle of his face. Mason dramatizes the whole thing for you. On the plus side, if Mason does win this match, he will know that he's not played at all well, but he's won and he's in the quarterfinals and things can only get better for him. James Wood might have different ideas on that. He's a fighter weird, waiting for one of these two. Difference really has been the finishing, Steve Mace is actually averaging more than Chris Mason, 87 to 85. Steve, you but uh, Mason with 46% success on the uh, on the checkouts. 60 needed there with left double eight. 61. Well, 180 needed here. Yeah. Good, Carl Dix, Mason. There you go. Click out one four three. Not the pressure there should have been if there had been another sixty. Chris, this guy to the hill, one away from the match, six. potentially missing. Opponent on a three dot of the stew. Well, we see that 160 46. twice this week. Phil Taylor, Andy Steve Jenkins. What a time for Steve Mesh. Not gonna happen. Mason to go with it, one leg of victory. Yeah. Chris, you require 100. Pressure to get some treble action here. Treble action needed. Went for two double topses. Uh, some of the crowd thought like they went in darts. Some of the Mason fans. It's pulled back. Well, oh, she's laughing. She must be confident that Mason's going to win. Tops to Steve. The flight is awkward here. If he hits the flight, well, Fulton. that's what he's trying to do. He was forced to go to the right hand corner and Fulton. didn't put enough Fulton. Fulton. in the dart. Fulton. Missed opportunity for Steve Mesh. Yeah. Mason doesn't miss. He needs one more leg for a Chris place Mason. in the quarterfinals. Far, far from his best. Chris Mason tonight. Game but he's been good enough. Yes, for six legs in the first nine, he I looked as though he was going to plough the field and scatter Mesh. Like he's done many a good seed earlier. But if this is a composed performance. This I is my. more leaden than Mercurial. But we've seen him in tears of frustration with Mercurial, have we? And uh, Steve Mace, Mr. Magic, is going to have to uh, produce the biggest darting trick of his life if he wants to stay alive in this year's championships. The way he's playing, I can't see it. Hasn't produced the form that did for Lloydy on Monday. Certainly hasn't. But I think all Mason fans will take great sustenance from this. He has shown the flickers of negative temperament, but only flickers. They never flamed. Well, is the star of Chris Mason going to be burning brightly over the Winter Gardens on Saturday night? 
Will wise men on camels come from the east? 100. And who will be king of the world match play 2006? It'll all unfold on Sky between now and Sunday night. You'd be daft to miss it. I see Terrific that. tungsten assured. Nice the end, he's trying to book his place against the brilliant young James Wade tomorrow. Short 20 still open. 100. Steve, you're to stay alive in the tournament, in. Steve Mache. Well, he was going for the treble. There we go then. 41. To end an absolutely fascinating Kira Skura with emotion and talent. Mason wants two eights for the match. Those eyes will get damp soon. Game shot. A little flourish. He flicked the dart away. I've been a Mace fan for years. Nice to see the control of the kids. Nice to see that control. Mason through, plays Wade tomorrow. Through, uh, you came in here, Chris, and you said, I nearly didn't play. I nearly pulled out of that match. Yeah, what, why? Close. I just haven't been very well. I, I haven't been myself all week, and I don't know if it's just the heat or I've picked up a bug, or I'm just not myself. I think the, the, the way I'm playing is reflecting it. I mean, I, I've had some great games in the past, but uh, I'm winning games and, and not not playing really well. And it's, it's you know, I was just, uh, to be honest, I was more worried about me else, you know, and I, I still am. I, I st I'm, st I'm still not well. And I know everyone's sweating, but I, I, I'm just, I'm boiling, absolutely boiling up. And I, even my first match, I remember remarking to you saying that, you know, everyone else has said about the heat or, you know, the fellow players and that. and. I even just sat in the, the players' room and we've got some air conditioning there. It was just running out of me and uh, Lorna went and got me some stuff from the chemist and, you know, I said, you know, she said, don't be daft, you know, you, you've got to play. And I, you know, I just didn't really, you know, I'm more concerned about my health. I mean, it ain't going to be long before someone's going to get ill playing in that. They really are. Yeah, that is, that's you serious. I mean, you, you spent, what, the morning in bed, did you? you I said? haven't been out. Um, uh, I went out last night with a few friends and, and uh, well, I actually went out with Mark Walsh first of all and had something, to, you know, nice and careful, something to eat. Um, but I, w I was in bed relatively early and I just couldn't get out of bed today. I, I didn't even come over until I think it was gone four o'clock. And you know me, I love to be mm. involved and, and soak up the atmosphere and I, I love my darts. Um, but, you know, I just don't don't feel great and, uh, and, I, and I'm on first tomorrow, which is going to do me no favours. What, what are your plans now then? It's, it's got to be an early night, it's got to be... Don't know. I think I'll go and we've got medics on site, I'll go down and have a word with them and yeah. see what they suggest, you know. I can't drink any more water. You know, we've got a problem, if we, if we drink so much fluid up there, you could be two or three legs into the match and, and need to use a bathroom and you mm -hmm. can't. You know, so though we got... I can't drink any more water. Ronnie Baxter, who, who, who in the practice room, I think he must have got through 10 bottles of water in about two hours. Mm. That just show, shows you how everyone's taking it seriously. I mean, it, it is dangerous. On a, you know, a, a more positive note, you haven't been here for a while. You're in the quarter-final oh. of the, the championship. You know, if, if you didn't play for some reason, you'd be letting a hell of a lot of people down. Oh, no, I, no it's, it's, you know, it is. It's, I love this place. You know, it's, I can go on, all the other players will tell you, it is just a... It's just, a, I don't know what it is, it's just something special and the people that come here are really dark fans, you know, and, mm. you know, we've had the Premier League and that's that's a different crowd again. You know, they're a little bit more boisterous. Where they, these people pay their money and they, they want to see the, you know, the the big games and, and the 180s and the big finishes and, you know, it's just... But in those conditions, I mean, Phil Taylor the other night averaged 98. <laughs> and if he can average 98 in that, that tells you what Nick he's in. You know, uh, I'm a, I'm a mid 90 thrower, and you know, I, I, I can't get over 29 a dollar at the minute. So, hey, listen, we'll let you go get yourself Thanks. sorted out, get Thanks yourself rehydrated, and see the uh, the medics as well. Hopefully, you'll be uh, you'll be fit tomorrow.